I received a call the other day from a pastor from Istanbul, Turkey. His wife has learned of the orphan's hands because of the work we've been doing this last year in Ukraine. We've sent containers, over 15,000 coats. We have given away thousands of blankets, Bibles, and hundreds of hundreds of tons of food to the refugees from that horrendous war that's taking place in Ukraine, even as we speak. His wife is from Moldova, and he felt that he could reach out to us and ask us for help. Turkey has just been devastated by a series of the worst, highest level earthquakes in the history of ever recording these events. In Turkey today, one and a half million people are homeless. 520,000 individual homes, apartments have been destroyed. They've only managed to excavate just a few of these, a small percentage. And already the, the, the death toll is 50,000 dead people. It could multiply by factors of four or five by the time they've done all the searching they're doing right now for families. Turkey is also Islamic. Erdogan is the dictator, the strong man of Turkey. And a lot of the aid that is being sent to that region is not getting to the people. This pastor called me and says, we have church members that are in tremendous need and they are the last people to receive it because of their faith. We immediately asked how we could help. He has been offered to care for a hundred families. And the other day we bought 40 tents. It cost $25,300 to buy 40 tents. We are not even halfway there yet, but we sent what we could. We are asking you who have helped us before in Ukraine, could you partner with the Orphan's Hands? If you're a church, could you buy one, two, or three tents? If you're a family here, could you buy a tent? It's about $520 to buy that tent. Help me, please. Put families that are sitting just now under blue tarpaulins, afraid to go into whatever's left of their home, that are living in the, in the worst of the worst situations. A pastor called me the other day from Texarkana. He knows a pastor in the, this region, the earthquake region, the zone. And he has lost every single member of his congregation. They're all dead. That is the monstrosity of need that these poor souls, our Christian brothers and sisters, are facing right now. I'm asking you to please pray. As we speak, we have a van, one of our cargo vans that has been used in the aid in Ukraine that we have moved from Kishnau all the way down through Romania and Bulgaria, all the way through Istanbul, right down to the earthquake zone. That van will be used to fill with food and bring it down to the people in desperate need. This is something we didn't ask for. I was sitting watching the Turkish earthquakes like you have been. I guess the only difference between me and you is I got a phone call and asked us for help, and I cannot turn my back. Please pray about helping us in this critical time and allow these amazing young people that we have rescued from orphanages that have served such amazing yeoman's work in the last year in Ukraine. Help them, help these poor brothers and sisters in Turkey. Find hope, find care, and find a place to stay because of our love. Thank you so much.